what's up guys so I went to Home Depot today to get some spray paint because I mentioned that I want to spray paint this gate my entrance gate um, as you know I bought some roses that I want to put on the arbor here but before I do that I want to get this gate spray painted and changed into my favorite color <laughs> so um, I got some spray paint I'm gonna turn you around and show you what colors I chose so I went with this color that's called um, tropics it is it's showing up more teal in the camera but in real life it's more turquoise but either way um, it's a really pretty color and I um, like both colors teal and turquoise but I d went with this paint because it said it was for metal plastic that is a metal gate and it was in the section that uh, was rust prevention then I also got this Rust-Oleum Stop Rust Clean Metal Primer used on bare, painted, or lightly rusted metal um, because these were in the outdoor section and my gate's going to be outdoor and be rained on. So I don't want to paint the wood, spray paint the wood, so I'm going to put maybe a box or paper or something here so that I don't overspray. I also bought I also bought this to put on the spray uh, canner uh, recommendation of my friend Takrisha who spray paints a lot and so this is going to be like a legit my first time trying to spray paint something that I want to look nice and pretty. Something else exciting I got were two um, metal raised beds. You guys have seen those metal raised beds all over the internet I'm sure. So I knew I wanted my raised beds to be a little higher than the beds that I have all over my garden. One, because these were going to be permanent, they're going to be roses, I wanted the arbor up higher, and there is a stump right in the center of this gate. So as you can see right here, this used to be a large tree, so we can't dig anywhere here. And as you can imagine, roots won't be going down there as well. And so I was thinking about asking my husband or son to just take the boards that I usually use and, you know, maybe stack them and build me something higher. But I was contacted by a company called Vijega where they sell metal raised beds and asked if I would be interested in trying out their metal raised beds. And of course I'd said yes, because I was just thinking that I needed something high to go in this entrance. And so I got two two by three metal raised beds that we're gonna open and unbox today. So this is the box they came in. I only have one sitting out here right now and I have my daughter with me. So I have my daughter Anaya, she's going to be helping me. She's gonna un um, open this box and we're going to see. It says that no tools required and I'm thinking that while I spray paint this that maybe she can, um, or start the primer on this gate, that maybe she can open this and start working on it. Okay, so my daughter has them out of the bag. These are the tools. This is the instructions. So I got the two by three and it's the 17 inch tall because I want it, like I said, for the slim front gate. So it has six pieces. So it comes with this plastic on it that you can easily peel off. And I'm gonna configure it or my daughter are gonna configure it just like this picture. So we're gonna have two slanted sides on one side and two curved sides on the other side and then these two flat pieces will be in the middle. Those are the curved pieces. And this is what the gate's looking like so far with one can of primer on it. Um, there's definitely some spots that I didn't get to but I do have another can of a primer. But that's what it's looking like. So I need to go ahead and apologize in advance for the shaky camera. I actually left my tripod in the garden overnight and when my daughters were outside picking strawberries, one of them tripped over it and broke it. And so my seven year old is actually the one holding the camera at the moment. But my nine year old is just working at getting off the plastic film that came on the panels and I am getting the second layer of spray paint on the gate.
I actually asked my nine-year-old if she would want to try and put this bed together um, by herself. One, because I've seen so many people say how easy they were to put together. And two, because I like opportunities like this where um, we get to do school as well as, um, you know, practical learning and in the garden. She is um, my daughter who wants to be a farmer. She wants to either be a farmer herself or marry a farmer and be a farmer's wife. So um, she's definitely um, in the garden with me a lot as well as all my daughters, but she's the one who actually um, enjoys it the most. I have finished applying my second coat of primer on the gate and so I just wanted to uh, give it some time before I start the actual paint color and so I just came over here to set it up um, how it was supposed to go so that my daughter could um, start screwing it all together um, but it was a very simple process um, I showed her one time and um, she was able to do the rest of the screws by herself. So this little spray tool that I'm using to spray the paint so that I don't have to hold down the trigger is amazing. Um, it just makes holding it and spraying it so easy. I'm so glad that my friend told me about this product. The color is coming out absolutely gorgeous. When I first sprayed like just one dot, I was like, oh, I'm not sure about this color. But as I continued spraying and um, it got all over the gate, I was falling in love with it. When I did the first spray, it actually looked more green. And so I was kind of shocked and because um, I wasn't going for a green color, I was definitely going for a turquoise or a tealy color. But as I kept spraying, the true color began to show and I'm really, really um, excited and happy with how it turned out. All together, I used one and a half cans of primer and one and a half cans of the actual color. So my daughter was actually having trouble with one of the screws. I think it wasn't threaded properly because it wasn't screwing down all the way. And so I just told her to get a new screw because they did send extra screws and we just kept moving on. Okay, I am sweating. It is, it, my whole garden is shaded. It's usually shaded by five o'clock, but it's so hot and humid out here. But let me turn you around and show you the color of the gate. I'm so excited with it. So this is the color on the camera. I don't know. It looks more blue, but it's definitely turquoise. Um, but I'm just so happy with it. This is the outside of it. And my daughter is still working on getting all the screws inside this bed. So now I'm going to help her. Uh, so these are the three pieces that you need to set up this specific bed. So you have the screw you put the washer on then you put it in one of these holes and on the inside you see it right there and then you oops it fell out let me find it there. i'm trying to show you this one handed so there's the screw then you screw that on there and it doesn't have to be tight because it came with a tool it came with this tool that you can use to tighten it so it's literally that simple um, I wanted to purposely see if my uh, nine-year-old daughter could build this by herself because uh, one it's good to learn how to read instructions and two I've seen people say how easy they were to build and I wanted to know if my nine-year-old could build it so I'm gonna go in and get the other box because like I said, I have two. Okay, so we got one bed complete. Um, it came with this rubbery stuff to put around and um, then you just had to cut. We had this leftover and you just cut to make it fit. But I'm gonna scoot it over here. So let's use our imagination. <laughs> my son is helping my daughter over there, not because she can't do it by herself, but so that it could go faster. But um, just use our imagination of two being here, having the cattle panel. And I think it's going to look absolutely beautiful. I will update again when we get, when we get the second one built and I have both of them there. Um, so I'm going to start now to lay down the rest of this uh, paper or cardboard but it's really um, paint
painter's tape, not painter's tape, contractor's paper that I have left. Okay, awesome. We are finished. And this is what the finished product looks like. I might move that bed over a tad that way, but I am done for the day. We have the fence painted. We have our metal raised beds put together. I'll leave a link to an affiliate link um, if you guys are interested in checking out their site for raised beds, these metal ones. And then I have the rest of cardboard. I laid down this paper all down through here. We moved one of the pools and laid down, but we ran out of paper and cardboard to move these and lay down these four pools and lay down the rest of the cardboard. So almost, we are almost completely finished filling in uh, this raised bed area. Uh, I'm sweating as you can see, but I'll have to come back for part two to fill these beds and then fill them or fill them and plant in the roses and put the arbor up. But for now, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys next time.